Where were the two bodies? Over by the freight elevator. Over there. After Lalo Salamanca's gruesome demise in the AMC prequel, fans of Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad are convinced they have seen him on the flagship series. In the second episode of season 6 of Better Call Saul, Lalo Salamanca, Tony Dalton, finally had his just desserts as his conflict with Gus Fring, Giancarlo Esposito, came to an explosive conclusion. Gus was always going to survive the confrontation, as Breaking Bad fans knew, because he appeared in the AMC series, but Lalo's death still managed to send shockwaves through the fandom. While Lalo may not have appeared in person in Breaking Bad, it's safe to say plenty were still convinced he'd make it to the end of Better Call Saul alive. After all, when Saul Goodman, Bob Odenkirk, first encountered Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul, and Walter White, Brian Cranston, in Breaking Bad, he implied Lalo may well still be wreaking havoc somewhere. Now, Better Call Saul fans know once and for all Lalo wasn't alive in Breaking Bad, instead, his body was buried beneath Gus's meth lab along with that of Howard Hamlin, Patrick Fabian. But a key clue from Lalo's signature style and attire has left many thinking he did crop up in the original series thanks to a snap in Hector Salamanca's, Mark Margolis, Care Home. One fan shared a screenshot from a key scene in Breaking Bad in which Hector is being wheeled into his room. The camera captures a family portrait in Hector's residence, showing him with the Salamanca cousins, Daniel and Luis Moncada, as children and another young member of the family. After spotting the belt buckle the young family member is wearing, fans are now convinced it's Lalo as he sported the very same buckle in Better Call Saul. The screen grabs were shared by BCS fan Angel Carballo alongside the tweet, Lalo did appear in Breaking Bad, and the seeming revelation sparked quite the reaction from the fandom, with replying, what detail? How many will there be that escape us? Well, I can't believe the level of detail in these series, impressive. Elsewhere, one person echoed, that level of micro details makes show successful. It shows how they believe in their idea and dedication towards that idea. We break up. However, some fans did argue that the youngster was in fact a young Tuco Salamanca, Raymond Cruz. Twitter user David Prieto wasn't convinced, arguing, sorry but that's not Lalo that's Tuco Salamanca. But with the belt buckle worn by both Lalo and the young Salamanca in the photo, could it be proof Lalo did appear in some form in Breaking Bad? The family portrait isn't the only Easter egg Breaking Bad fans have now spotted after Lalo's death. In the season 5 premiere after Walt and Jesse killed Gus and blew up the lab, Hank Schrader, Dean Norris, investigates. And in what seemed to be a throwaway comment at the time, Hank pointed out they found two bodies beneath the lab's floor. However, they were unidentifiable at the time, with fans only now realizing they belonged to Howard and Lalo. Much left. Apparently the teeth do this popcorn thing when they get too hot.